Um, uh, you know what would be a good place? Uh, would probably be the cows, because these goblins, there are so many people around here. I'm sure there's only going to be a lot of people with cows, too. I'll kill a couple goblins and I'll go over and see what the cows are like. So I think people use the cows to range, I think. I think you can range over the fence, I'm not sure. I thought you could probably do that. I thought I've seen people doing that before. Might have changed. Another task complete. Hopefully I'm getting to the point now where everything I do isn't going to result in a task being done. Killed this cow. Nobody. Oh, somebody else took it. Done. Eh, I'll take this cow. Or he can shoot it. Yeah, he's ranging. So that must mean this is still a good range spot. Using that sling thing. That's... Those slings didn't exist when I used to play this. Used to be only a short bow, a long bow, and a crossbow I think you could get in the free world. Uh, eventually I'll get to the member stuff, but it's really a good idea to, um, to, uh, get the free world stuff done first, because the member world is pretty bad for somebody that's just beginning. It's not very new player friendly. In fact, I would not say to be a member unless you're at least level 30. That's pretty much where I stand on that. Yeah, we should be about level 30 when we get done with all that, with all the stuff. In fact, we might have to be over that because the Dragon Slayer quest is pretty much going to be pretty horrible otherwise. Ooh, attack level three. The way I do my attack strength and defense is I uh, go by five. So when I get to attack level five, I'll switch to strength. When I get to Strength level 5, I'll switch to defense, and when I get to defense level 5, I'll go up to attack again and go up to level 10. It's basically one big cycle. And I find that a good way to go because certain items you can't use unless you have certain stats. Like, uh, armors and such you have to have a certain defense for. In fact, if we want steel armor, which I'm going for, we need at least five defense. I think. I think it's five defense, or is that iron? Uh, we'll see. Then after that, I think it's every five, you can get a new armor set, so black would probably be either 10 or 15, depending on which one's steel. Before that. This sword must be just useless. It's a starter sword, so I can't really expect it not to be useless. All the stuff. All this blinking stuff. This cow beat me up. That's not supposed to happen. Next cow I find might have, have, might have a good shot of actually killing me. Well, I think they drop meat, so I could probably heal myself. In fact, I'm pretty sure I probably can. Yep, raw beef. Should have a couple of those already. I've been picking up picking up stuff without even really noticing. Yep. I don't know why people fight chickens. I think. Probably for feathers or something? I know you do something with feathers, I've never found it out. Alright. Oh, 
a task for lighting a fire. We haven't lit a fire yet. We're gonna be tasked for. Nope, but we got a cooking level. We got a level for getting 10 levels and other skills, I guess? I don't know. I'm actually... yeah. I was gonna say I'm doing pretty good, but I've burnt 3. I get the... okay, it's 4. Level 6 cooking skill. Yeah, it's not that bad. I only burnt 4 and I have like 10. Cooked ones. I have a bunch of anchovies too, but I'm gonna save those for a different time. Why are you fighting here? You're all decked out in black armor. Why are you fighting cows? That is seriously strange. He is way over leveled for this area. Or at least way over armor. Alright. We can't kill the prize cow, unfortunately. It'd be great if we could. Ooh, critical. Die, Cal. You don't belong in this world. Ooh, another attack level. Only one more and then we can switch to strength. That's kind of what I'm going for, actually. Hmm. I know you can do something with cowhide, but I don't remember. Make leather armor, I think it is. Huh. Oh, no prayer level. Only level two, though. Hopefully we can fix that. Prayer is kind of helpful, I don't really use it. I might use it when I think about it, but otherwise I don't really use it that much, honestly. That's a lot of meat. I don't know I'm going to end up burning half of it, so... It's good to have a lot of it. Oh, um... Can't do anything with these oak logs that I picked up, apparently. So I'm going to have to go find somewhere to chop down a tree right over here. I just went through that gate. That was quick. That was a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. Alright. So far, so good. Level 7. Yeah, there's the first burnt one. Second burnt one. Third burnt one. Yeah, you know, pretty good, I think, though. Wasn't too terrible. Hmm. There's a fishing spot around here, but I don't have anything to fish with. 
Actually, I'm not really worried about fishing. There's a certain spot in the game that I get to that I worry about fishing. And that's at a certain island. that building. And now things getting now everything's getting dark. We must be getting Nor Drainer then. Draenor has always been a dreary dreary place. I don't remember there being a light effect though. That looks cool, that sign looked awesome. And there's a couple quests here that I know of. But they're all kind of a little bit out of my experience. Like Vampire Slayer, I think I have to kill or at least be able to take a couple number of hits from a vampire, which I think is like a level 20 or something. Oh, what's this? Which oh, is I'm just gonna go to Wizard Tower, but let's see what's going on here first. Oh, come here. Where'd you go? Uh, hi. Who are you? Hmm. Stuff in the cauldron, huh? I think she's making booze in the cauldron. Enchanting the booze? Sure, we'll help with this. Uh, okay. I have to start with an enchanted broomstick. Adds flavor. You have a broom right there, why don't you do it yourself then? Eh, it's not properly enchanted. Hetty, Betty, and Aggie has to be involved. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> share the good stuff around. All right. So I guess we have to uh, meet the witches. I think it was at per Port Serum, Drainer, and what was that other? Remington. Yeah. So one's gonna be here in Drainer. So obviously that's gonna be the first one we see. If I remember correctly, she's like right in the middle of town. never usually see a lot of people in town here in Drainer. They're always, you'll see a bunch of people at the bank because it's the closest bank uh, to Lumbridge, but other than that, not a whole lot of people here. Brooms. Sure, can you help me out? Hmm. Clearing for us witches that's that you sometimes use. I don't have a hat. Oh, what the heck? Uh, tell me what's going on here. Hmm.
So something has something to do with enchanting the broom. Well, the best way to enchant that hunk of dead wood. Yeah. Sixteen lines drawn out in the sand. So we'll wait four of those sixteen lines that only leaves four small triangles on the ground and nothing else. Take a look at this. Uh, four triangles, nothing else. I think I got it. I think I got it. Take that. Well, one of them's gonna be touching, but the other one isn't, so I don't know if that's gonna count or not. Hopefully it doesn't. Oh, it worked. On my first try, too. Well, that makes it an hourglass shape, though. Wouldn't that count as another shape, though? I don't know. Okay, that's one out of the three witches already. Alright. Port Serum is next. I've noticed that all three of the witches are like in the next town over in a chain. It makes things a lot easier, so I don't have to go all the way to somewhere across the world to get to somebody. You're now leaving the starting area. Uh, I'll leave the starting area. I have to. I don't have a choice. Serum, please. I think it's right here. Yeah, it is. It is definitely right here. Thank goodness, too. I'm just happy that I can remember where a lot of these places are. Swept away. Most amazing brews, huh? Spicy side. There's always one little problem. Alright. Let's pop this open and see what's going on down here. gonna be horrible, I know it. I need the wand. Give me the wand. Well, apparently the small little problem's a little bit bigger than we thought. Hmm, it's magical sealed. This is not going to open until the order has been restored. Six separate chambers, each with a little critter inside of them. Uh, the enclosures are messed up. Uh, we can't carry more than one creature at a time. And we can't let them see each other, essentially. We can't go in. Yeah. There's a holding pen out here, too. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, that's a rat pen. That's a bird pen right there. That's a spider pen. Looks like there's a rat in the spider pen. The reptile pen. I think there's a spider in the reptile pen. Let's take this guy out and move him to the holding pen. Actually, this looks like the right pen. What? But I have to move him to be able to get the other stuff around, I think. Or maybe I should move something else first. I'm not sure. Let's move that there. needs to go over the rat pen. There's something currently in the rat pen. So let me try and figure this out. Let's put the rat in there. Move the spider back to the spider pen. Let's move whatever is over here. Oh, okay, yeah. Forgot about that. Can't go in the same room with an animal. There's already an animal present. Okay, that looks like some sort of lizard, so that would go up here in the reptile pen. And the rat needs to be moved back over here. Let's take a look at bird, put that bird over there. Okay, everybody's in place now. The other two pens apparently didn't need anything done to them. Okay. We got the wand! Now to go sell it on the Grand Exchange. Alright. Alright, that's two out of the three down. Let's go and find Remington. Whoa, what's all this stuff over to the right? I know we're not close to Falador, so I know that's not part of Falador. Imp! Oh, shoot. Get off of me. Wow, he's doing some damage to me already. Ow. Come on, don't do this to me. That is just... Oh, come on. Oh, I'm dead. The playthrough's over, guys. No, it isn't. The Grim Reaper? Yeah, it sounds like a good reaction there to being dead. Hmm. Grim Reaper doesn't take his job seriously, apparently. Uh, apparently they let you s take your spawn point. 
Ours is probably going to end up being Lumbridge because we haven't been to any major towns unless Drainer counts as a major town. I don't think it does. I think the only major towns in the free world are Lumbridge, Varrock, and Falador. That was an interesting player who had that stuff. Okay, we get to keep three items. Some items will be kept automatically. The rest of them will be dropped. No, I don't want to stay. So I'm going to go back out there and kill that highwayman that killed me. I'll beat him down. Okay, the anchovies are the only thing that I don't have, so... Everything else is automatically kept. So this game doesn't break you as much as it used to when you died. I guess that's a good thing. We still have quite a walk away, though. We have to get almost... We have to get almost up to Remington in about four minutes. I guess it'd be possible. Yeah, we're gonna get there. We're gonna have like a minute and a half when we get there though, but... Nah. Actually, I didn't take into account how I'm going to have to walk the rest of the way in about 10 seconds. Well, we're up to Drainer already. I already have a thousand gold coins. Wait, didn't I already say that? I'm just surprised to have... Yeah, I want to leave the starting area. I know highwaymen are all around the roads. Almost there. Thankfully these guys aren't gonna jump me. Cause they're out of my level range, especially. Almost there. And I was almost right on time for how much time we'd have left. I said a minute and a half, and it's about a minute and 40 seconds. But we also have to fight this highwayman, so that's not very good. And he's at full health again. But one thing I didn't remember last time is I have actual healing items. So I'm gonna win this. Even if it takes all of them.